hello everyone okay let's provide the solution to this problem we have x squared minus x cube equals 12 so what should we do okay i am of the opinion that we write the one with the highest power first so we're going to have negative x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 equals 12. And then we don't want to start with this negative coefficient. So we should multiply everything by negative 1. And that will give x to the power of 3 minus x to the power of 2 equals negative 12. The negative one will multiply all the terms okay now why don't i bring in this bring this to the left so that if i do that i will now be having x to the power of 3 minus x to the power of 2 plus 12. this is now equal to zero because nothing is on the right again now how do i want to deal with this i want to express this 12 to be in this form so that I can relate them. So I'll write x to the power of 3 minus x to the power of 2. This is 12. So I'm going to break it into 8 and 4. Because 8 can be written in this form and 4 can be written in this form. This is now equal to 0. To go ahead with this, we'll have x to the power of 3 minus x to the power 2 plus 2 to the power 3 because 8 is 2 to the power of 3 then plus 4 here is 2 to the power of 2 all of this is equal to 0 now let us regroup this and this will be together so i am going to have um i'm going to have x to the power of 3 plus here we have 2 to the power of 3 then here we have minus x to the power of 2 and then here again we have plus 2 to the power of 2 so this is equal to 0 now I am going to deal with this right I'm going to deal with this together then together I will deal with this but I want to put them in brackets so if I want to do that I have x to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3 already this is settled then minus open bracket here we have x to the power of 2 this negative will turn this one to negative 2 to the power of 2 and now everything is equal to 0 so here we have addition of 2 cubes and here we have a difference of 2 squares okay so the addition of two cubes here remember, uh, remember that if you have a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 right this will be the same thing as a plus b into a squared minus a b plus b squared okay and um, we already know a squared minus b squared difference of two squares a plus b into a minus b so let's express this in this form a plus b now okay so our a plus b will become x plus 2 right into a squared will become x squared i'm picking from here then a b that will be x times 2 okay x times 2 that will be negative 2x then plus b squared that'll be 2 squared and it's giving us 4 then minus here we have here we're going to have difference of 2 squares so okay so from difference of 2 squares here we had this one okay so now you look at the 2 Okay, if you look at this 2, this is here and it's also here. So, x plus 2 will come out as the common factor. Then I have this x squared 
minus 2x plus 4. Then minus, here we have this, so we have x minus 2. Then we close the brackets and equate to 0. Now to continue with this, we're having x plus 2 into, we'll open this bracket, so we have x squared minus 2x plus 4. This will become minus x. This negative will affect this, it turns to plus 2. Then everything is equal to 0. Now x plus 2 is still the common factor. Then we have x squared minus 2x minus x will give us minus 3x. Then 4 plus 2 will give us 6. We equate this to 0. From here now we have difference of two squares. So we are going to equate this to 0 or this one here to 0. So now x plus 2 is equal to 0 or x squared from here minus 3x plus 6 is equal to 0. From this side our x is equal to negative 2. So this is one of the solutions to the equation. And now let's um, let's work on this so that we can get more solution, more solutions. X squared minus 3x plus 6 equals 0. This is a quadratic equation. We can solve this using quadratic formula. X squared. Okay, the formula does not have square so our x okay so this is the quadratic general formula our a is 1 the coefficient of x squared okay let me write a is 1 our b is minus 3 and then our c is 6 let's put all of this into the formula so our x will now be remember there's nothing there we have minus b now. We have minus, minus 3, because b itself is minus 3. Then plus or minus square root of um, minus 3 squared, because b is minus 3, minus 4 times 1, because a is 1, then times times 6. The c is, our c is 6. Then we divide by 2 times 1. Now, x is negative negative we give positive we have 3 plus or minus then we have minus 3 squared we give 9 minus 24 and then this is divided by 2 so to go ahead with this our x will be 3 plus or minus we now have from um, 9 minus 24 this is going to give us negative 15, then we divide by 2. To go ahead, our x will be 3 plus or minus. This negative will give us i, then we still have root 15, no negative again, and then we divide by 2. This is a 2 in 1 solution. Let's bring the three solutions together. Our x1 is minus 2. Our x2 is 3 plus or minus. We have i root 15 divided by 2. Oh, so we're going to pick 3. So we are going to have 3 solutions. Let's write this as um, positive. Then the third solution will be 3 minus i root 15 divided by 2. So these right here are the three solutions. Thank you for watching.